COVID-19 has officially hit Ontario's jails. I'm Christina Howard and outside of the Toronto South Detention Centre where a correctional officer has just tested positive for the coronavirus. Now he had just returned from a trip to Europe and reported here for duty as the ministry required and worked all the way through until March 11th. Now that's the day the WHO declared COVID-19 a worldwide pandemic. He immediately went into self-isolation despite it being against the ministry's policies. And then yesterday, the positive test result. Now his family notified management and several other officers are now in self-isolation. Only today did the Solicitor General formally institute a policy requiring a 14-day quarantine for anybody who had traveled abroad, regardless of symptoms. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Ministry of the Solicitor General writes, our thoughts are with the correctional officer and his family during this time. The ministry has been in contact with the local public health unit in response to COVID-19 to ensure the continued health and well-being of our staff and those in our custody. Now, medical experts have raised very serious concerns about the potential spread of COVID-19 within prisons and jails where cross-contamination is a very real risk. Now, the ministry also informed staff at Windsor's Southwest Detention Centre that a contractor who recently performed work there has recently tested positive as well. Now, we have the full story, including the details on what the ministry says it's doing to best protect inmates and staff at citynews.ca. Outside of Toronto South Detention Centre, Christina Howarn, City News.